In the late 1990s, Third Sector New England, a management service organization, needed more space. But square footage rates had spiked by 60% from their original lease. Seeing the impact on his budget, Jonathan Spack decided it was time to control the cost of his workspace. The notion of this building was uh, an idea kicking around in my head for several years with uh, no place to go. We actually, uh, I think in around the year 1999 or 2000, um, hired a consultant uh, very briefly to advise us on whether this was a feasible idea or not. And uh, the conclusion was that it wasn't. Two things happened in 2001 to turn things around. The first Collaborating for Success National Conference and the hiring of a program developer. In 2004, Third Sector purchased an eight-story, 110,000-square-foot historic building in downtown Boston. It was called, simply, the Nonprofit Center. We had three levels, actually, of, uh, of categories. One was what we absolutely had to have in a building that we would acquire. Um, the second level was things we would like to have, if we could. And the third level was kind of blue sky, what would be fabulous. Uh, in every one of those discussions, in the first category, things that we had to have was um, green, as green as we could make it. Another thing Third Sector had to have were tenants focused on progressive social change, even willing to operate in the red until the right tenants came along. I love the opportunities for community and to connect with all different types of organizations and people working for social justice causes. When I first started here, I would have organizations calling, asking about space at the center, and they would tell me these horrible stories where it was a situation where they had been virtually squatting in other organizations' offices because the Boston real estate market is obscenely expensive. It's one of the most expensive markets in the U.S., and so for nonprofit organizations, they would find, especially smaller ones or ones that are in the process of starting up, they would find themselves in really difficult situations where they may have been paying rent um, but, but not be on a lease. Together, a way for smaller, more entrepreneurial nonprofits to have very affordable space. Since coming on, we've been able to develop shared space in the center, which is um, it's an office suite where we co-locate smaller sized organizations that are really looking for affordable space. We're actually uh, building out another large new meeting room um, on the second floor of this building. So when that is done later, uh, probably by the end of the summer, we'll have even more capacity to host community events here. Um, so I'm very excited about the possibilities. We've really only begun to scratch the surface and even so uh, I think we've already had an impact. 